Typically, weapons are a no-no at high school sporting events. An exception is made for one harmless, long-standing tradition at Johnson Central High School. Harmless, Jimmy, except for your <laughs> eardrums. That's Andrew Colgrove now with our story. If you've got sensitive ears and you're taking in a game at Johnson Central in Paintsville, best to sit plenty far away from this spot near the end zone. It's really loud. You can hear it about two or three miles away. As the team runs onto the field and after every Golden Eagles touchdown, school board member Paul Greer fires off this mini cannon. Kids love it. Do you worry that it's going to affect your long-term hearing abilities? No, because I've always sat here almost my whole life, and I'd say I'm pretty used to it by now. What? I'd say I'm pretty used to it by now. We've got our money's worth out of it. It's a tradition going on around 15 years. A few school supporters pitched in to purchase the noisy item off the Internet. When you have photographers visiting from other schools who aren't used to the cannon, do you get joy out of seeing them oh. jump? <laughs> oh, sure do. If somebody in Paintsville has the idea of trying to go to bed early on a Friday night, it's just a waste of time, right? <laughs> you got that right. And they say they used to take the cannon to away games as well, but opposing coaches, principals, superintendents, ear doctors were not really fans, so they had to stop. But they say sometimes they will still take it to away games and set it off outside the stadium while they're listening on their car radios. Noise ordinances are really just suggestions anyway, right guys? That is correct. How about uh, tonight?